Hi, I'm Matt Province, and today on the Highlanders Network, a special guest as we welcome in the 12th coach in men's basketball history here at NJIT, fourth in the Division I era. My pleasure to bring in Grant Billmeyer. Grant, first of all, welcome here to NJIT. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back in the Garden State. Um, really enjoying my time in Maryland, but I'll gladly uh, trade some crab cakes for some pizza. <laughs> yeah, the bagels, the pizza, you got it all here. But uh, let's talk about how the process went. What attracted you? I know you're a New Jersey native, which yeah. is great coming back home, but what was really the attractive factor to come here to NJIT? I just think that, that these facilities, um, where the players live, the the passion and the direction um, Mr. Lenny Kaplan had, um, Dr. Lim has, they, you know, they, they, they want success, but they want to do it the right way. They, they don't want an overnight one-hit wonder. They, they, they want to build a program that's going to be sustained and a pro program that's going to have st standards, and they understand with that it takes time. Um, and they're willing to give me time, and they want me to build it the right way. You mentioned the word time, so I imagine you've got this checklist, very long checklist in your head. Uh, what, what's at the top? What are some of the things that you have to do as a head coach for a program as you get started to build this thing? I just think when you look at this arena, it's, you know, recruits come in here, they're like, wow, their, their, their jaws drop. Um, but we got to engage the fan base. We, 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 we got to bring people all out from all different parts of New Jersey. Um, you know, it's like the chicken and the egg, what came first? If you win, you know, they'll come out, or if they come out, you'll win. Uh, but my job is, is to get the fans here, get this building rocking, and I think it, it could be a game changer. I want to recruit um, the best athletes, the best student athletes. You know, I want to start within a 10, 15 mile radius, but you know, I also want to recruit nationally because I feel like this is a school that will attract some of the best student athletes throughout the country because it's a great school, because it's in a great league, and it has everything you, you need to win. I want to make sure I keep connecting with our players. Um, doesn't matter who recruited them. I'm their coach, and I want to have a strong bond with all of our guys. I want to connect with all their families. I want them to know, you know, I want them to know me inside and out, just the same way I want to know them. You had some great opportunities. I mean, even as a player, being a captain for a team like Seton Hall, and then you were able to be on on the bench for seven years there, and then most recently in Maryland for a season. From those experiences, what do you think has made you into a guy that you know that you'll be able to succeed, or at least have a really good chance of putting this program one step forward? You know, I think I learned from a terrific boss in Kevin Willer. Um, I was fortunate to get a, he gave me my break in the profession. Um, and I made my way up from, you know, the entry level position at Seton Hall, coordinator of basketball operations, to leaving there as associate head coach. And he, he put a ton on my plate and it was all stuff I thought I could handle. Um, I, want, I want to be standing here as the head coach at NJIT without him. But I also want to have taken this job if I didn't think I was ready. Um, as much as I wanted to be a head coach, it's about be, taking a job and a job you feel like you, you can succeed in. And this is certainly one of them. And um, he, he really helped me grow. He, he gave me a ton of different responsibilities. And um, I'm, I'm very fortunate for that. And I think I'm very well prepared. And I just found out you know, 20 minutes ago, another guy that was on our staff at the University of Maryland just got a head coaching job. So um, that's four assistants in the past year that have gone on from the Kevin Willard coaching tree. And, I think you know the run she Shaheen Holloway had at St. Peter's last year certainly didn't help, and you know kind of validated that he he gets guys ready to lead their own program. Yeah, no, it is a, the tree is growing. You said it's exciting to be a part of it, but it does seem like uh, one of the, the skills that you bring to the table, according to what Kevin Willard and others have said about you, is just hard, tireless worker. How does that translate for you into being successful? You know, I think I think I from I take on the New Jersey personality. You know, you can't. Uh, you look, look at the guys that grew up in this area that have gone on to be coaches. They're all grinders. Their, their teams all play extremely hard. They all play with a chip on their shoulder. They coach with a chip on their shoulder. So I think you know spending a lot of time in this area, um, even though I'm from Central Jersey, I've spent the last you know pretty much the last 20 years of my life in this area. And, and I think to be in this area, you, you have to have a certain edge about you, and that's that edge I want my team to play with. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I know you've got a lot of work cut out for you, so I won't keep you any further. Best of luck, and uh, maybe one day we'll catch a slice of pizza together yeah, yeah, and celebrate exactly. a big win. Uh, I, I got some <laughs> great places, and if you're ever in Maryland, I got some great places to crack some crabs. Not such a bad option either. Uh, best of luck to thank, you. Thank you very much. New men's basketball head coach, Grant Billmeyer. I'm Matt Province, and thanks for watching this production of Highlander Sports.